Like I said, I don't know what nobody else is doing. It's not my concern. Because when I'm not looking at people, they in motherfucking, they in flow state. I mean, they're in superposition. So I look at humanity as an extension of myself, but I look at them as a non-playable character. Ready for a program. Ready for me to upload my consciousness or reconnect my consciousness with theirs within them and become them and wear them or mount them. But like you, like I'll talk about, I do it with a pure heart. I'm just doing this shit to get a better understanding of my vulgar displays of power, my influence over my over my dream, my fantasy. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not bottled up under no tradition, no left hand path tradition, no right hand path tradition. I'm not bottled up by anything. I'm not bottled up by no system. I don't vibe to no deities. I don't <laughs> I don't rely on the ancestors to tell me shit. When all the ancestors is looking up to me like nigga, you the next way, nigga, you the, we looking through you, we living through you to express your creative spiritual power to bring about something new for us to express through you. Because we did everything we needed to do in the past and we get, built you up to get here. Now you coming through, now it's up to you to do what the fuck we did and when you pass on you another motherfucker gonna come through and the only motherfucker that's gonna come through is me or is you because all you doing is self-replicating or self-reproducing yourself coming down here as whatever it is that you want to fucking come down here because this is a form of a virtual reality or a virtual state study the works of martin and russia motherfucker when it comes to scalar wave technology when it comes to thomas bearden excalibur briefing the anatomy of the star goddess, all of those types of books and those types of scientific experiments, you're gonna have to fucking you're gonna have to do some you're gonna have to do some digging. You're gonna have to do some fucking research and get your hands dirty on some shit. So you're not gonna see me talking about I'm not gonna be talking about the Goetia, Necronomicon and all that shit. That shit water is getting it's a lot of other niggas doing that shit. You're gonna go to them other niggas for that information that we keep seeing come up. That shit old to me. That shit is I'm on some other shit. I'm on another level now. You see what I'm saying? If I need to talk about that shit, I will, but I'm going to have my own my own stamp on that shit. And it's not going to be the same as every other nigga that you hear talk about it. I'm speaking of this shit from a, 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 a point of confidence and authority in myself and knowing what the fuck I'm doing. Knowing my influence. Knowing how to psychologically manipulate a nigga to become emotional. Knowing how to psychologically manipulate a female to be open-minded, accept my mimetic virus, or accept my ideas with body language, with the flash of a color, with the frequency that's playing through this video, whatever, using weaponized language patterns, using NLP, right, creating elaborate ways to bring about abstract magical or sorcery results you see what i'm saying so you know that one thing about me y'all niggas know i'm rogue you know i don't fucking i'm not a part of no groups i don't do none of that shit i do me and i don't know what the fuck anybody else is doing but it don't matter nigga i don't see these niggas these niggas is me <laughs> so if I, if, like right now, all y'all niggas that's hearing this shit is in a fucking superposition. Y'all niggas do not exist because I'm not there to observe you or collapse you into reality or to the simulation. So you zeros and ones in constant flux until I see you. So when I'm doing my thing on social media, I don't see none of you niggas. I see fucking letters that's posted that, that you understand as comments, emojis and all that shit. But I'm not physically talking to you. I know that. I'm not confused by this. See, I don't... I take this shit serious, but I don't take it literal because it's not literal. Once you get the... confirmation of... becoming someone... or wearing someone... and feel what it feel like to be somebody else... while you supposedly under the... you know what I'm saying, under the rules of this realm... space and time be separated by that concept once you understand that and shit and you connect with another motherfucker somewhere on, a, on another another side of the planet the rest is history 
So I highly suggest the individuals get a, a big grip on the brain, understanding the neuroplasticity, brain entrainment, brain synchronization, computer code, unicode, the singularity, the merging of technology with biology is seamless because the biological life form is nothing but a technology. It's nothing but a, a simulation housing unit to produce this conscious, to upload your consciousness within your own simulated reality or your own fantasy, your own computer generated, whatever, whatever you want to call this shit. Whatever you call that shit is built on zeros and ones. I don't give a fuck what you call it. No matter if you're dealing with the clip off, you're dealing with a Necronomicon, you're dealing with the Goetia. You're in a realm, you're in a dimension, you're in a physical, you're in some form, you see objects. Those objects are built on zeros and ones. You see spirits, you see something that's going to correspond to a color, that color is going to correspond to our emotion, that emotion is going to correspond to a certain energy, and that energy is going to be broken down at the end of the day because zeros and ones. Fuck what it is. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So when it come to this shit, I figure some shit out. When it come to being in total control and sitting on my own throne of understanding within myself, but knowing that there's no stop, there's no resting on my lords like I love to talk about. It's about pushing the envelope on that, coming up with more ideas to flex my shit, to talk my shit, right? Now, you hear me talk a lot of shit. I say a lot of shit on purpose to piss niggas off, to excite a motherfucker, to get you riled up. What's riled up? But emotions. And if I can get you to respond to what I'm saying, you just open up yourself to my memetic thought structure and my mind viruses, to ease in your motherfucking cerebellum in your brain, to produce... A virus. And the more emotional intent you put on the idea that I just gave you to react to something I'm saying, the faster the assimilation process goes along. Told you niggas, I'm dangerous. I mean that shit. But when you get a motherfucker to respond, you respond to anything emotionally as if it's real. You motherfucking owned by it. you susceptible to all kinds of shit. You're not going to hear me talk about niggas in their comment section. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm not looking. You're not going to hear me talking about what a nigga wearing. What the fuck what you wearing. But I'm wearing it through you, nigga. I'm just you expressing myself as you. Doing whatever it is I need to do. Whatever it is that I reprogram my subconscious mind with to express myself as whoever the fuck it is. Clarence Hill from fucking St. Louis, Missouri. Nigga, 19 year old kid, whatever. Born in 2000, June 1st, whatever. Who the who fuck cares? It don't matter because your name and your birthday are going to correspond to zeros and ones. It don't matter what the fuck it is. You're an NPC, you're a non playable character. That's how you should look at this shit. As to open up the floodgates to express and 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 get in touch with the adventure and opportunity that you got down earth. This shit is beyond race. <laughs> this shit ain't got nothing to do with no black and white and no afterlife shit where it's a bunch of niggas. That's, it's rams like that, but this shit way past that. Shit that don't have no name. And only true niggas who really doing some self-exploration know what the fuck I'm talking about. Shit that don't have no name or no way of you able to even define this shit. The only way you can understand this shit is to experience it. And even when you experience it, it's gonna you can't put it in words. Yet. But the more you have that thought, the more you have that experience, and all those faculties in your mind is believing that shit, you creating a cluster, you creating an idea that's gonna be strong. And you can implant a motherfucker with that idea. Especially with motherfuckers who already believe in you, who already you who already got rapport with. They'll start believing slowly but surely. That's gonna be a reality for them. That's how you bring other niggas along. By not bringing other niggas along. By letting them motherfuckers go about that shit on their own. You see what I'm saying? So when it comes to hyperversal sorcery and 
understanding the going within yourself, shrinking yourself, small. You gonna shrink? You can shrink yourself down so small you become gigantic, kind of like Ant Man. But get the concept of when you shrinking down, you going to the added point. You going to that? You going to the, the the fucking primordial aspect of yourself. You see what I'm saying? And when you do that, when you go about doing that shit, when you clear any type of hindrances and, and all your emotions, you ain't bitching about no trauma. Nigga, fuck that shit. Trauma is, is I look at that shit now as motherfucking, I'm, I love trauma. Because that's an opportunity to grow. That's an energy cluster for you to go through and use that energy to cultivate your chaos energies for creativity, for imagination and visualization. That's what trauma is. So don't run from your trauma. Embrace your trauma. But don't be always constantly talking about facing your motherfucking trauma. Because you do that, you just you just add in, it's like you just add more trauma for yourself. By, by looking at it as a detriment, as something that's wrong. That's an opportunity for you to motherfucking go through some shit for you to be stronger. It ain't nothing for you to look at it like it's fucked up. You should get your dick hard when you fucking think about trauma. Whatever it is. Because you the motherfucker that created the situation for you to go through that trauma. I don't give a fuck who you is or what happened. You done this shit. Ain't nobody done this shit to you. How the fuck can you be a victim here when you everything and everybody everywhere? Ain't no victimhood here. To understand something though. Niggas like, that's this nigga left hand path, right hand path? My path is whatever the fuck it need to be at any given moment in time. Like the New England Patriots, my system, I don't have no system. It's malleable. It's constantly changing. It's flowing. It's chaos. It's not built on no set rules. Do this. We don't do that. Uh, I'm solo, nigga. I'm a, I'm a rogue titan. Niggas go left. They go right. I go where the fuck I want to go. And wherever the fuck I go, I'm that nigga. And wherever the fuck I go, whoever I'm around, they me because I assimilated all of them niggas. So I don't argue. I don't fucking try to convince you of shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit because there's nothing to be proven. You see what I'm saying? It's a mindset of having it, understanding that you at the top of this shit. That you understanding that you manipulating this shit from the core, the matrix motherfucking mainframe of this shit. This is a fucking computer. So you're dealing with people, you're dealing with computers. When you're dealing with computer, you're dealing with programming. And you're also dealing with reprogramming. You're dealing with viruses. You're dealing with this computer that may be slow. Dealing with a computer with me, that's gonna be a form of a supercomputer. That's gonna be fast, constantly changing, unpredictable, always moving, self-replicating. Dealing with qubits, zeros and ones at the same motherfucking time. Trinary code. What you niggas know about trinary motherfucking source. Man. A lot of you motherfuckers been seeing me in your dreams and shit. Y'all niggas know what I'm talking about. Now y'all motherfuckers been seeing me pop up and shit, me doing all kind of shit, whatever, you know. Like I told you, one of the ways that I'm able to do that is using thought forms, thought viruses, ideas, manipulating Zard, this nigga I'm looking at, the skull, your motherfucking skull, manipulating your body. If I want a nigga, if I target a motherfucker and want that nigga to start talking about whatever, I just program this nigga to do it, or I've already done it. You seen memes of this nigga? That shit is infused and embedded with so much motherfucking computer code on that motherfucker. I don't have to do shit no more but wait for y'all ass to say what the fuck I programmed you to say. And you say it. Right on time. So that's what the fuck going on. It's gonna be a two-parter. Since my phone stopped the first time and shit. Gotta go back in here punch in and shit. I said, shout out to my niggas. Mo, my bad, Mo. I'm going to holler at you, Mo. Darkest Light, Darkest Light 47. All my Haitian niggas, my Chicago niggas, my young niggas. God at the gym. And of course, Cosmic Serpent. Everybody on my motherfucking IG who I constantly fuck with. You know what I'm saying, man? Who else? What else? What else? Again, appreciate the motherfucking donations, the motherfucking constant support, the questions. You know what I'm saying? The links y'all niggas send me. I'm doing the asteroids and shit that I remind you niggas about quite a while ago. Now y'all seeing that shit. 
the more motherfuckers see it, the more they building the momentum and idea and intensity of that shit happening. You see what I'm saying? Don't worry, I ain't gonna hit this motherfucker. I'm careful with them stones, nigga. Shout out to my nigga Narwa. Shout out to Travis Maggis. Travis Maggis, my nigga. He know the science. He know what's up. He bringing different information, different shit. His own flair this shit. I salute nigga that got some form of originality with this shit. Cause you're gonna start seeing a lot of old niggas regurgitate information that niggas been talking about for years and they and they gonna fucking peter out because they ain't got no fitness, nigga. They means they got no fitness. They gonna fucking die out. The strongest means are the ones that got the strongest motherfucking attachment and ideas of what's going on with the current wave and shit, the paradigm. So the motherfuckers talking about some shit that's belonging to an old paradigm, that shit ain't gonna spread. But the mean gonna die out. The idea gonna die out. The information is gonna be rendered obsolete and useless. Watch. I already set the intention for that shit. I already set the code. It's already programmed. The diet, the cash, and shit is irreversible. 